Hey you guys, welcome back to another video, mcmo 64 here. Welcome to the last episode of RLCS Recap for this season. Let's get right into it. Alright, starting off, let's look at our regional championship bracket results for North America and Europe. So, in North America, we had the starting brackets of Cloud9 versus Ghost Gaming on the elimination round. Then up in the upper quarterfinals, we had the Sonics versus NRG. And in the lowers, we had Ghost Gaming versus whoever lost the NRG Sonic series. So, we can see that G2 swept their way to victory in the finals. So G2 got first, and then in second place we have Space Station Gaming, who started in the semifinals with G2 on opposite sides of the bracket. And then in third and fourth place we have NRG, who lost to G2 in Game 7, and Ghost Gaming, who lost to Space Station in Game 5. And then in fifth and sixth place we have the Sonics, who were swept by NRG and then swept again by Ghost Gaming. Unfortunate for them to end their season, but they did a great job and still exceeded everyone's expectations. And then the final team is Cloud9, who lost to Ghost Gaming in Game 5. And going over to Europe, we can see that the regional champion for Season 9 of RLCS is Dignitas, and they defeated Vitality in Game 6. And then we have, in second place, Vitality... And then for third and fourth place, we have Mouse Sports, who lost to Dignitas in Game 7. Then we have Barcelona, who lost to Vitality in Game 5. And then in fifth and sixth place, we have Team Reciprocity, who lost against Mouse Sports in a sweep, and then lost against Barcelona in the lower quarterfinals in Game 5. And then we have Veloce, who lost to Barcelona in Game 6. So there was so much high quality Rocket League this weekend because there were so many games since all of these were since all of these series were best out of seven, I decided to do a top six plays of the week for each region. So let's get into it. For North America, in play number six, we have Justin with a speedy double tap versus the Sonics. Zero boost this time and Dapper will win the challenge. Only as far as Justin. It left on the clock. Justin for the double! And he's <laughs> rocking and rolling in game two. Well, it looked like Justin accidentally side flipped after popping this ball up, but he's so fast to recover anyway that it doesn't matter. Still gets a clean hit on the ball, and then the double touch to follow. Just crazy stuff from Justin in game two here. This is why you can't give NRG space. In play number five, we have Justin once again with a freestyle double tap against G2. And NRG now pressing Justin, looking for oh, a double Justin. tap. He can do it off the crossbar and in. NRG a two goal lead. He is too clean with it right now, Justin. Look at how fast he is into the air and then gets the double touch, perfectly reaching off the backboard. It's one thing to beat out the defender. He already made the great play, the great move, but then he followed it up himself. Justin doesn't need anybody right now in this series to score a goal. In play number four, we have a great prediction save by Gimmick against Ghost. We saw Gimmick win that 50-50. Oh, double tap chance. It's a good setup for Mist, and Mist gets denied by Gimmick. What an incredible save. I thought that was going in 100%, Jordan. In play number three, we have a flip reset by JNAPS against Space Station Gaming. But sometimes they're hitting, most of the times that they're not. JNAPS with the flip reset, and it's going to be good enough. G2 have the lead. The knapsack is back chicago rizzo hop in with plays like this you can tell there's a lot of space what a shot play number two is a very nice double tap by illusion versus cloud nine and the only goal that we saw from cloud nine was that squishy solo play oh illusion <laughs> starts off with a bang look at this setup from it Beautiful timing. You saw as soon as Illusion popped that ball, immediately jumping. He timed that so perfectly. That is a tough one to make. If you jump too soon, then you, you just put a shot towards net that's easily going to be saved. If you jump too late, there's no way that you get up in time to be able to get that backward tap. 
And then the top play of the week for the North American Regional Championships is a flip reset fake dunk by Atomic versus Cloud9. Here's Atomic. Oh, Atomic. Gets Atomic. Oh, gets to get back to it. Atomic is insane. Atomic. He destroys Squishy's mind. He gets the flip oh, he set and the sick. dunk. That was one of the most incredible goals that I have ever seen. And moving over to Europe, play number six is a ceiling backflip flick by Arju in their series against Dignitas. This kind of this kind of momentum up in this situation, oh. <laughs> Arju, you are incredible. He's doing it all. Gets down here, the backflip flick, and it goes right into the net. Arju. He is styling on Dignitas. Dignitas, who finished top two in league play. Play number five is an insane double tap by Astral against Vitality. Unstoppable, untouchable, and undeniable. Astral off the backboard, double tap! <laughs> Defense might as well not exist when Astral is on the field. He's up before the ball hits the ceiling there, transitions to the backboard and then to the goal in the blink of an eye. There's just nothing that Astro can do at the moment. Play number four is a flip reset by Devo versus Reciprocity. Go up the back wall, so we took out two players effectively on that play, hunting on the line. Devo under one. Devo scores off the crossbar and in. What a play! A nasty flip reset. You can see Fruity was trying to defend the double tap. Devo waiting until the last moment to flip his car around and go for the flip reset. Wonderfully timed. He had Fruity hook, line, and sinker on that play. Play number three is a double tap by Speed versus Reciprocity. Through one. Speed up against all set over the top of him is looking dangerous. Looks for the Ooh. double tap. Speed's got it good, and that's 2 0 for Mouse. What in the world was this? Speed somehow beat Shaw set. No boost. Perfect. <laughs> that's the only touch that scores, too. Play number two is a crazy angle double tap by Fairy Peak versus Barcelona. Home. He's been here more than many players, and oh my goodness, Fairy <laughs> Peak with the, oh, no room double tap, beautiful shot. No chance. Flakes and Devo, that's not going in, we're fine. What? <laughs> what a shot from Fairy Peak. That is sick. And the top play for European Regional Championships is a zero second triple tap by Astral versus Vitality. Double touch to the backboard, Yukio's pretty no jump, but Astral just does everything himself. Oh my goodness, zero seconds, take the test lead by two. This is the game where you can cement your legacy. And Astral is doing exactly that. Dignitas 2, Reno Vitality 0. Astral is on fire right now. And now it is time for the CSK Pirate Rocket League Fact of the Week. For the last episode of the season, I have a double fact for you guys. DFH Stadium, the Iranian Rocket League, is named after Psyonix's CEO and studio director, Dave F. Hagewood. And... The stadium Beckwith Park is named after Ben and Adam Beckwith, who are two brothers that have been with Psyonix for years. And moving into the player spotlight, because it was the regional championships, I chose a player for North America and a player for Europe. So, going into North America, we have JNAPS. Always steady, JNAPS has been a rock for G2, and we even saw glimpses of the knapsack resurfacing during their remarkable victories. In our first play, we have JNAPS getting a cross-field goal after saving a shot from AXB. It's going to go straight on the other side of the field. Wow. Is that in? Wow. G2 are not going to score many easier than that. JNAPS popped that one off his own crossbar as well. He almost scored on them again, and then he scores on a full-field shot. This is disastrous for Space Station. In our second play, we have a strong cut to pass to Rizzo, who finished off the goal. Demo on the way back, JNAPS has to turn it, Rizzo's there, puts it in. 
Rizzo is playing lights out Rocket League. Is that enough to secure the regional championships? Rizzo has been outstanding in this series. JNAPS has more than done his part. And our third play is the same clip you saw in the top plays from North America. It is JNAPS getting a flip reset against Space Station Gaming. JNAPS with the flip reset, and it's gonna be good enough! G2 have the lead! The knapsack is back. Chicago Rizzo hop in! With plays like this, you can tell there's a lot of space. What a shot! And then for Europe, our player spotlight goes to Violent Panda. The two-time world champion has won yet another regional championship with the help of his teammates getting revenge on their main rivals, Vitality. So, in our first play, we have a Doomsy Dish dunk on speed. For him, sooner rather than later, that's a good first touch. And that block from Cooks and Violent Panda! does not care, we'll dunk his way through. We got a tie game. And Dignitas to right back into it. You saw the side flip from Astral, but it didn't ma matter because Panda, he was getting aggressive. And then in play number two, we have an infield pass reception to take the lead on match point. And again, Kato tries to avoid bumps on target. Violent Panda puts Dignitas to 2-1. Look at this pass by Astral as well. He knows exactly where Panda is, but still, so much left to be done when the pass arrived at Astral's car. Hits it perfectly, and they're in the lead. And our final play is Violent Panda getting the series finisher goal versus Vitality. Passes it to Panda. He's got Yukio. He goes for Yukio! And it's another crucial block, but nobody will prevent Violent Panda from turning it in! Revenge is finally his! The regional championship belongs to Dignitas! And with that, there are no predictions to make for another week, so let's get right into the news. A few things have happened this week with the seasons ending in RLRS and RLCS, so let's take a look. Rocket League tweeted an announcement. They actually had this on stream at the beginning of the North American Regional Championship. But they tweeted at 2.33 p.m. on March 28th. They said, Introducing the Rocket League Spring Series. For more information on what to expect from this new tournament series, check out the article below. Read here. And in the article, they say, Introducing the Rocket League Spring Series. As you've heard, the rapidly developing COVID-19 outbreak has forced the Rocket League Championship Series and sports leagues around the world to modify or cancel their schedules outright for the safety of players, fans, and personnel. When we were forced to cancel the Season 9 World Championship, we committed to online regional tournaments that would keep our competitive ecosystem humming and give professional Rocket League players meaningful and exciting ways to compete. Today, we're excited to introduce the Rocket League Spring Series. The Spring Series will feature regionally based online tournaments starting in April, and we've got lots to share, so let's dive in. What is the Rocket League Spring Series? The Rocket League Spring Series is a series of tournaments that will include our four major RLCS regions. Europe, North America, Oceania, and South America. Each tournament will span two days and include some of the best teams in the world that are joined by teams that qualify through open qualifiers which are held before each tournament. What's the format and prizing? We want to reward the top performing teams that would have made the World Championship while also maintaining the openness that has been the hallmark of competitive Rocket League since its inception. Here are the key formatting takeaways from the Rocket League Spring Series. Eight total teams per tournament, the top four teams from each region's Season 9 Regional Championship will auto-qualify and have preferential seating. The remaining four spots will be filled by open qualifiers held before each tournament. Each tournament will feature a double elimination bracket played out over two days of action. All matches will be best of five except the Losers Bracket Finals, Winners Bracket Finals, and Grand Finals, which will be best of seven. Now that you have an idea of how these tournaments will work, let's break down the prize pool per region. Europe will be getting $125,000, as well as North America, $125,000, and then Oceania and South America both get $50,000. What are the dates? Each region will have their own weekend to play out of their regional tournament. That means there will be a full month straight where you can catch the best teams from each respective region, face off for bragging rights, and the title of Rocket League Spring Series Champion. In addition, we've got dates for the open qualifiers where you can assemble a team and battle for your shot at qualifying to play with the best of the best in your region. Here are the dates for each tournament and their open qualifiers. South America open qualifiers are on April 14th through 15th, and the Spring Series is on April 18th through 19th. North America 
Open qualifiers are on April 21st through 22nd, and the Spring Series is on April 25th through 26th. Oceania have open qualifiers on April 28th and 29th, with Spring Series on May 2nd and 3rd. And then the final tournament is Europe, with open qualifiers on May 5th and 6th, with the Spring Series on May 9th and 10th. How and when can I watch? The Rocket League Spring Series will be streamed in the normal places you're used to catching Rocket League Esports action. That means you can watch all four tournaments on our Twitch and YouTube channels. The start times will be different for each tournament. Check out the dates and times below. So South America is April 18th to 19th, and it starts at 7.30 a.m. PDT. And then for North America, it's April 25th through 26th, and it starts at 11.30 a.m. PDT. For Oceania, it's May 2nd and 3rd and starts at 6.30 p.m. PDT. And Europe is May 9th through 10th, and it starts at 8.30 a.m. PDT. And they say, for the open qualifiers, players and teams are encouraged to stream their matches, but there will be no official stream. When and how can I sign up? Signups are live right now on Smash GG. Check the link here to get your team signed up. Please keep in mind that the open qualifiers will be played in a double elimination best of five format. This means that each team will have at least two matches to play in the open qualifiers. Have fun and good luck. For all things Rocket League Esports, be sure to follow our Twitter. Stay tuned for Spring Series news, content, and more. We're beyond excited to kick off the Spring Series on April 18th. We'll see you then. And now going into some roster changes, we can see on Liquipedia there, this is a bit confusing and there's a bit of drama, but on March 29th, Wanda Mike is removed from the team. And then let's go look at Twitter real fast. So the original tweet was deleted, but it was Wanda Mike announcing that he wasn't on the team and saying he was looking for team. And then Radoko here, his teammate, responded with a montage of all of Wanda Mike's misses and mistakes even though some of them may have been in bad positions and stuff like that but there's a lot of drama revolving around that and then one of mike tweeted all right so a bunch of stuff's gone down over the last few days but rudoko and i have talked everything through we are all good now kinza and i have been good and with all that being said we have talked it through and decided to give us sticking together one more shot and of course it had to be on april 1st and then also he tweeted uh, again on April 1st he said me Rodoko and Kinsa will be sticking together for next season of RLRS sorry for all the confusion I know it's a weird situation and then he tweeted on April 2nd now that April Fools is over I'm excited to announce for the upcoming rival series season that Rodoko Kinza and myself will be teaming up under the name 2008 Toyota Corolla with the team manager and sub Flitz so if we look on Liquipedia on April 1st one of Mike rejoined Toyota Corolla and then we can see a tweet from Fire on April 2nd. He said, leaving United as substitute as well. Been with the GOAT Hawkser for a while now. It's been quite a ride. With that being said, I'm looking for team. And if we look on Liquipedia, we can see that on February 26th, he had already stepped down as a coach, so he was only the sub. So now on April 2nd, Fire left the team, so no more affiliation with United. And he is a free agent looking for a team. With all that being said, that is all the news I have for you guys today. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this season of RLCS Recap, and comment down below what other videos you want to see me do in the near future. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you are subscribed. If you aren't, click that button. It's very important to me. And if you are, make sure you have that notification bell clicked so you get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.